are facing a demographic challenge with a lot of older people, not only from my perspective from the European context, but also in the rest of the world and in Africa. So that's one reason that we have to uh, find new solutions for assistance when you get older and health technology is one of these. There are some things that are much more progressive than in Europe and one of them was the, the use of mobile phones. I think you have an advantage because you have adapted new technology because it's needed in a different way than it has been in Europe. I am a nurse from the beginning and I have worked as a health educator for several years, more than 20, 25 years. And uh, I also have done research within the field of ethnography. And uh, my field is also qualitative methodology. And uh, that's the reason one can say that I have spent quite a lot of time in South Africa because I did an ethnographic study in Hammanskar, South Africa. Geron technology is a combination of gerontology and technology. And gerontology is the, the science of the, the normal aging, say. And technology, yeah, we know technology is about different devices and different way of using technology. And to do this combination, is to try to find solutions for older people who are still active and living a, a life with good quality, to continue to, to sustain this way of living, and also for those who are frail older um, people who need some kind of assistance. Year One Technology is focusing on older people and their needs. Health technology could be for the whole lifespan. So that's the, the difference. And it uh, includes uh, different devices, also how to handle technology in different environments. It is also how to, how to make the different the devices user-friendly. So we need to have like a, a collaboration between the user and the ones who are producing the different devices. Yeah. One of the reasons is that we are facing a demographic challenge with a lot of older people, not only from my perspective from the European context, but also in the rest of the world and in Africa. So that's one reason that we have to uh, find new solutions for assistance when you get older and health technology is one of these. One key issue is the health professionals. As uh, when you introduce a new technology, and then specific specifically in health, you also need to have the health professionals on board. And we know that there is a lack of knowledge, and uh, it's uh, uh, not only a lack of knowledge among those who are actively in, involved with in the healthcare, also on the manager level. Uh, so it needs to be a combination of uh, ongoing training, both for those who are managers and for those who are actually doing the care activities. Something we are already facing is the divided society. Those who have access and knowledge and those who don't have or have lack of it. That's going to be a big issue in the future. What I found when I was in South Africa was that there are some things that are much more progressive than in Europe. And one of them was the, the use of mobile phones. And uh, when you ask me about year one technology in an African context contra well, versus Europe, I think you have an advantage because you have uh, adapted new technology because it's needed in in different way than it has been in Europe. Uh, in the Swedish context, the mobile phone is one of several 
uh, devices. You use it, but you don't, as a, and now I'm talking about the older population, you use it maybe from time to time. But in the, in the South African context, it's a daily uh, activity. You have to use it because it's necessary to be in contact with your family and also to uh, get necessary help in your daily life if you need it from your family members. What I discovered when I did my uh, research in South Africa is that older people are active in life till the very end. One of my titles, one of my articles is we go to funerals, we go to weddings, we do our daily work and that's life. You go from the small things to the, the big events or happenings in life and um, that's the difference. I think they are in life, they are uh, active, they take care of their grandchildren and uh, children and they are like the, the, the hub. Care can't be replaced with a robot instead of a human being. Um, but it can be a good supplement, an assistance, both for the user and for the one who is providing care. Uh, but it has to be used with, as I said earlier, thinking about ethical aspects, thinking about the, the, the need of a so social interaction, because we are human beings, we are not robots.